Hello and welcome to Fakhar Stamps Fair. Today we will see that in DOS box how can we set D as our local drive and MASM615 as our default folder under D drive in DOS box. So for every time we have to run some assembly code that our D drive is set as default drive and MASM615 folder as our default folder. So let's begin. Here you can see that we have MASM615 folder in D drive. So it has some built in applications and it provides as a bigger advantage over 8086 folder i have also made video on that but 8086 folder has limited options in it using mazam 615 we have numerous options and it makes programmer life much simpler okay so i will place this folder in a uh, drive and share a link with you in the description so what would be the first step we have to mount this path as our local path we have to set d as our local drive and under d drive we have to set this folder as default folder okay so let's go to dos box options first you have to simply search here in the search bar dos box and here you can see that dos box options just click over here and a text file will open for you just go till the very bottom here you have to write these two lines only you can put your mount lines here if you put these two lines at the end of this file, it will permanently mount this path. I will provide these lines in the comment section. You have to copy and paste over here and save it. Okay. Now we test some hello world code using MASM615. This is a small piece of code. It is used for printing hello world on the console screen. So let's run it. We don't have to make use of MASM and link separately. We can use just ML command only ML. And the file name you can see here hello.asm that's all now there is no error you can see over here that this instruction ml it creates an object file as well as executable file so it's doing two things it is compiling the code as well as it is converting the object file into the exe file okay now run it simply write hello and you will see that we have hello world on the console screen now let's do some modification in the code for example i write now save it and run it again now you can see that just write that's all and again you can see over here so it's quite simple to use masm615 we will explore more options of masm615 and applications installed under this folder it will help you a lot while doing your code like when you have to use control flow structures and in graphics it will help you quite have you any questions please write in the comment section i will respond as soon as possible. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.